Greetings, friends. My name is Chuck Holtry, and I'm very glad to be with you here in Serbia. I'd like to tell you an experience I had a few weeks ago. Uh, this past year, I've started running for exercise, and I'm trying to be more fit, more healthy. And one morning as I was about to run, I noticed it was raining outside, and I didn't want to run in the rain. So I started to see uh, what the internet said about running in the rain. And it said that running in the rain is good for you. And I remember that actually just two days ago as I was running in Niche. I went outside to run along the river and um, it was starting to rain. Uh, I started getting wet and I thought I'd rather quit but I remember that if you run in the rain, it will help you be prepared to run in any kind of weather. You know, sometimes uh, we're tempted to only run when it's sunshiny or nice outside. So I ran, and uh, what a run. My glasses got all fogged up. Um, my clothes were getting wet and starting to become heavy. As I was running, I left the, the uh, pavement and started running on a trail and squishing through the mud. My feet were soaked, my clothes were getting dirty. And I thought, I don't want to keep running. But I did, because it is good to run even when it is not the best situation. It reminds me of a Bible text. It's found in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse one. It says, wherefore, Seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And then the Bible says this, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Let us run with patience the race that's set before us. You know, there are times I wish that the race that was set before me there in Niche was a beautiful, sunshiny day, um, a dry ground, uh, nice uh, dry clothes. Um, it would have made the running so much easier. But that is not the race that was set before me that day. My race to run that day was one that was wet, muddy, cold, but that was my race. When you and I run our race of life, sometimes we may have a race that's set before us that we don't like to run. Maybe there's difficulty with our finances. Maybe there's a struggle in our home and with our family. And we don't want to run that race. It is not easy. It's not comfortable. Sometimes we may question, why, God, do I have to run this race? I'd rather run a race like this person or rather run a race like that person. Why do I have to run the race that I have? The Bible doesn't answer the whys. The Bible just simply says, run the race with patience that is set before you. What is your race? What is the race that's set before you? Um, what I like about this verse is, is not just the fact that we are supposed to run the race that's set before us, but we're supposed to run it with patience. You know, sometimes um, it's easy to be impatient when the race that we have before us is not easy. But God says, if you run it with patience, good things happen. It says this in verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, so when I'm running the race that's set before me, no matter whether it's a, an easy race or a hard race, I am supposed to look unto Jesus while I'm running. That makes it a whole lot easier. You realize the race that Jesus had set before him was not always easy. In fact, his race was very hard. His life race was one that involved um, misunderstandings, uh, cruel words, unkind treatment. And yet he was willing to run that race with patience. And he ran it because that was the race that was set before him. So when we look unto Jesus, we learn that we can run the race that's before us. 
It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I get excited when I see this because it tells me the kind of race Jesus had. It wasn't an easy race. It says it, was, it had a cross and it had shame involved, and yet he ran it anyhow. But then it says, here's the result. He is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. When you and I run the race that's set before us with patience, it's then that we receive the reward, very special reward. You know, the Bible tells us about our reward. It's found in the book of Philippians chapter 3. And verse 13, it says this, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. You and I have a prize that's before us. And sometimes when we're in the middle of the race that's before us and the race is hard and it's not easy, it's easier to focus on our current circumstances. It's easy to focus on the mud. It's easy to focus on, on the things that are around us. And what we should be focusing on is the prize of the high calling that's in Christ Jesus. Jesus, he, he endured what he needed to. He went through his race and now is set in the right hand of God. You and I, when we, when we press forward, when we forget the things that are behind us and we press forward, it's then that we can have the prize of the high calling that is in Christ Jesus. Today, I'd like to leave this thought with you. What is the race that you're facing? What are the uh, circumstances in your life that sometimes you wish you weren't going through? No that that is the race that's set before you. You don't run the race that's set before your, your friend or run the race that was set before your family or run the race that was set before maybe a leader in your church. The race that you have is your race. Run that race. And when you run that race, that incredible race, you will have the greatest prize ever, and that is being with Jesus Christ. So today, friends, may God bless you as you run the race that is set before you.